Welcome back to River City Live. Lindsay of the Jacksonville Humane Society is with us with Tucker. Does yes. Tucker need a forever home? He does, yes. Tucker is a very sweet boy that we have for adoption over at the Jacksonville Humane Society. Um, he's a bit of an older dog, as you can tell by his silver snout, um, but he's very well trained and very smart and loving. He just needs a family. And he is a, I know he has papers for this, he's a waggy tailed, wet tongued terrier of some yes, sort. Yes, absolutely. What yep. is, do Certified, we know? Do we good care? boy. Nope. We don't care. In fact, I have a, uh, a rot labra hound from the Humane oh, Society. You I just gotta it. make it up. Yeah. You know, nobody cares. Mixed breeds so, are the best. Mixed breeds are the best, and they're so grateful to have a forever home when that happens. And, and he's not the only one over there that needs. No, a we have lots of dogs. In fact, um, we're full of large dogs right now, and so all of our dogs weighing 30 pounds or more are free to adopt until Sunday. So if you've been thinking about adding a dog to your house, um, adding a new family member, it's a great time. So uh, someone like Tucker won't fit in your purse, but he would probably <laughs> snuggle up to you really yes. on the sofa or sit at your feet. He's he would love less, that. He's yep. loved everybody he's had a chance to meet so yes, far. Yes, and he loves treats. He will work for treats. Um, and I bet he's um, so smart he could learn new things as well. So if you wanted to bring him to a training class, <laughs> he would love that. <laughs> he's ready. Did you see? He's yeah. like, give me some more. I know. But you know what, Tucker? <laughs> let's see if we could turn you around so everybody can look into those deep brown eyes. He is something else. Such yes. a cutie boy. He's so Buddy. sweet. Look in the camera. Let's get you in the camera. <laughs> oh, oh yes, he's got a good. So, good all right. So the process at the Humane Society. Can mm -hmm. you walk us through it a little bit, Lindsay? What? Uh... If you're interested in adopting, all you have to do is stop by. We have so many dogs and cats waiting to meet you. So just let us know which ones you want to meet. We'll grab a staff member for you, and they'll walk you through the steps of getting to meet them, talking to you, see if it's going to be a good fit, and you can take them home the very same day. You don't have to worry about bringing in, you know, proof that you own your home or that you have a fence. If you're there to give a pet a good family, then we want you to come see us. So it can happen all in the same day. And we also have sleepovers. So if you're not 100% sure and you want to test things out, you can take a dog like Tucker home for a sleepover, see how he does for a few days, and come back and finalize later. Okay. Lots well, of options. Well, the thing about the thing I've noticed about Tucker too is he has not walked by anybody. He's got a hello, like a hello yes. for everybody in this room. Yes. So so what about cats and other animals at the Humane um, Society? We have dogs and cats available for okay. adoption. And so we have, right now we don't have as many kittens, but we have lots of adult cats waiting for homes. And the thing I love about adult cats is that they're excellent at napping. So if like me, mm -hmm. you're looking for a lazy pet, somebody to curl up with you and watch TV or just read a good book, an adult cat is perfect for that. I think it stands to reason that you want a pet that matches your own personality. Absolutely. You know, some people want that dog mm -hmm. that's gonna nap every time they nap. Some people mm -hmm. want that dog that's gonna make them have to get up and go for a walk because otherwise, you know, they're going to tear up the house and this is yes. going to be your New Year's resolution. Like, I need a dog so that I take mm -hmm. walks every day. Yes, and walking my dog every day is how I get my step goal. That's the only way I'm ever able to meet it. So if you're looking to make a New Year's resolution, make a change, get a little bit healthier, then a dog is a great addition for that. I absolutely love that. So Mark is standing by right now, so let's toss it over to him.